All right, this is Mike. I'm going to do a tutorial here that I have not found online. Um, so with a little bit of time, I figured out um, how to do this on my own. Um, what I'm going to be doing is taking this plane here. You can apply this to any texture. Um, you may have like a building or, or whatever you want. And I'm going to have one texture on it. And then I'm going to have it transform into another texture using uh, Maya 2012's uh, Blend Colors node. And uh, to, to jazz it up or whatever a little bit, I'm going to, as it's transforming, it's going to have a wavy pattern on it, so it almost looks holographic. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started here. What I'm going to do is I have a plane here, just a one-by-one one plane. You can use whatever, like I said, uh, whatever text you want. I'm just going to add a new or a object. I'm just going to go ahead and add a blend to it. Um, this blend is going to be our texture that transforms. So we'll just go ahead and call this our transform, if I can spell here, transform texture, underscore texture. Um, so that'll be our texture node that uh, will be like our end result here. And so what we're going to do is in the color node, we're going to choose um, a texture node called blend colors. Um, not to be confused with blend, but just blend, the word blend. See, it's right there, it pops up, you just type in B-L-E-N-D. -E um, it's also in utilities, if you go into the utilities. So now what we have is it applied this color texture here, and we can't see it because our textures aren't enabled, so we'll go ahead and enable that. And see, what it's doing right now is it is blending this, uh, this red and this blue color to together it's like half percent so we're getting it all so if we switch it all the way to blue um, or switch it all the way to zero it basically turns color one off if you switch it all the way to one you know then color one's at one percent or you know, fully enabled um, so what we'll do is I'll pull up the hyper shade here you just go over to windows um, rendering editors hyper shade and it'll open up. I've already got it open here, so I'm just going to drag it over here so you can see. Uh, as you can see, I've already went through and made some two other textures. Um, we've got uh, a tech texture I'm going to use, and then a a blend. Uh, I'm sorry, a tech texture and a wood texture. Um, so we're going to start with a wood texture and then transform it into a um, a technology texture, like say there's something, you know, like aliens are hiding in or something, um, in like an old west. Um, so what we're gonna do is um, we have our wood texture and our tech texture here. I've already made these. Um, they're pretty easy to make. I mean, you can make them however you, uh, you know, you know how you standard make a standard uh, texture. You know, just pick it and hand, pick it in your hyper shade and then just start. Uh, adding in your, your normals or your bumps and your speculars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and for this wood texture I'm going to put that in first and I'm just going to middle mouse drag it onto the blend color node here and not the output and I'm just going to put it into blend color one and I'll take my tech texture and I'll do the same thing middle mouse drag it over to your blend color node and put that one on number two Alright, so I'll just move those over here. So there's what our nodes look like. All right, we'll move this out of the way so you can see what's going on here. Right now we have this craziness. As you can see, it doesn't look like much of anything. Um, it's because Maya needs to have hardware or, or like a hardware enabled so you can see like a high quality version of it. Otherwise, it's just this pixelated version here. So we'll just enable that and give it a few seconds. And there you can see, see my wood texture that I'm using there. And if we render that out, you see you got my wood texture there with a little bit of bump. Um, just piped in. Alright, so we'll go ahead and close that out. And what we'll do is we'll go to our, well, bring up, bring over our hyper shade again. And we'll click on our node right here, this node, our blend color node. So we can play with this a little bit. Alright, and we'll just move that back out of the way. As you can see here, now as we pull this back down to zero it's gonna go into our alien texture here as you can see um, so if we were to put this up back up to one 
and say set a key here so at one it's fully uh, wood and then we move out to frame 48 and we will change this back to zero and then we will set a key there on frame 48 so now um, we'll look at this and we're at play every frame probably best to do play every frame because uh, otherwise on real time it just seems to really lag I'm um, still going to lag a little bit on this but we'll take this back to one and then we'll play this through so we can see our texture transforming here it takes a little bit so you can kind of see it now starting to fade away and the other one's starting to uh, appear underneath it alright that's great so we'll just stop that since we already know it's working and we'll just put our frames back to one alright so now we've got that enabled so we know that works so now what we want to do is we want to have this like wavy pattern over it so it looks like it's uh, transforming rather than just changing and uh, what we'll do is we'll open up this and we'll use um, Maya's water. It's a pretty cool texture. We'll just throw that on there. So now we'll just scroll out a little bit. We put that over there. We'll just close this window out so we got a lot more room here to work with. And we'll just click and drag this down. And the key to this is to um, you want to put your wood texture or whatever your initial texture is into this so it it, it has this like, wavy pattern you only have to put it in one but you can put it in two if you want to but what we'll do is we'll grab this connection right here and we'll just delete that connection all right so then it turns back to its default uh, colors you can see there in the background so what we'll do is we'll go to here and we'll just play around so we see this and we'll pipe this um, we'll take this and middle mouse drag that onto our um, this node right here and we'll put that in the color gain. So to click on this, we'll see here, we'll go into the color balance. This is our color output input. Um, see, I put it in the color gain. Now, if we were to take this middle mouse drag that onto this and put it back into our color one node, we get this that happens right here. Now you got this little bit of wavy, but it's still coming in really dark because uh, the other stuff is just darkening out. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to take that same texture and I'm going to re-put it back in to the color offset also. So then what happens is it gets really bright. So what we'll do is we'll click on our water and we'll bring it up over here in our attribute editor. Let's we'll move that out of the way. And in our attribute editor we have this um, our, our color balance. We'll open that up and we can see that there that both of our textures are in there the same textures in both of these so to give it a little bit of uh, definition here we'll just take the wave amplitude up to like a 0.5 instead of a you know 0 0.05 let's see what that does okay that's a little heavy so we'll go to like a 0 0.3 probably should work there and not be too uh, it's still a little bright so maybe like a 0.2 Let's hope, that, let's hope that works. No, I did 0.3 again, didn't I? 0.2. There we go. All right. So this is just basically the start of our animation. Um, you can um, key this wherever. Ideally, you'd want all this set to zero um, in the very beginning so you don't see any of that and you see the wood texture itself. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to start the animation at 1 and then we will... Um, animate it transforming. So there's our wave. Let's take our waves up a little bit because they're kind of, you know, you can barely see them. Let's go to a 18 maybe. A lot of that so you get a little bit more subtle waves in there. Okay, and the key for this one is to take it is this wave time. This moves your your wave as you move it. You see you can see the waves over here kind of just going through there. It's pretty neat. So we'll just set this back to zero, and then for the for this, we'll just since we're on frame one, we'll set a key there, and then we'll just go out to frame forty-eight, and we will also you can't see it anymore, but we'll just put it all the way up to one, and then we will set a key there. 
so then what we have, if we can play it here in our viewport, is this what happens here. As you kind of see, it's a little slow, but it's going through, it's going through, it's like this wavy pattern, and then it starts to um, change into this other thing here. So that's essentially it. Like I said, you can use that water pattern, that wave pattern, and put it underneath too, so you get this like double, um, this double uh, waviness, but that might be a little too redundant. So I would just go with putting that on one, either or. I probably would put it with the one you're changing from first into that. So that concludes this tutorial. Um, you can hit me up if you need any more tutorials. I'm free to make whatever. Um, so thank you.